And we're live. Hello. It's good to see you. Let me get my my jacket off. I got this awesome hole right here. I can put my finger in there if I have a scratch. That's how that works. All right. I'm here. Everybody's here. Thank you so much for joining me. I have to bring the chat up because I always forget to do that because that's how I roll. It's as if it's a pre-show, but it's not a pre-show. This is not a pre-show. What are we doing right now? We're doing some comic karma. Oh my goodness. We're doing comic karma. Thank you so much, everybody who's joining me here. I really appreciate it. It's late, but you know what? Better late than never, right? It's late. We got to get a video out today. Um, and you know what? I had an option today. I had an option to do one of two things. Okay. For option number one, I could do the video that I have already planned. I can just put out the video. Why? Because we have a video already ready for you. Um, we get them ready ahead of time so that we're on pace. We have a Silver Surfer video for you this weekend. It's fantastic. I'm super excited to release it. Ryan and I had so much fun talking about Infinity Gauntlet goodness, but I didn't want to release that today. I want to save that for tomorrow. So look out for that video tomorrow. It's all ready. It's popping, and I'm excited to present it to you. But I had an option to either do that or to do some comic book karma. So... I'm sitting here, I'm deciding, I'm working on the thumbnail, I'm getting things ready, and I'm looking over here, and I got this loot crate right here that needs to be opened up. I got this package from my homeboy, Johnny Future, who's in the chat, first one in the chat. Oh my goodness, what's going on, Johnny? Look at this. John, right here, Langford. It says right here. I'm not going to show your address, though, but it's right here. He sent something, and he's in the chat, so it's a sign. It's a sign that we had to do this today. Not that that's what it took. I just, this has been sitting here staring at me. And I'm like, I want to know what's going on. I want to know what was sent. What did John send me? But wait, there's more. I have something here from J Dog, looks like. I don't have an Instagram tag on here, but it says fragile. And you know what happens when it's in a box like this? It says here, fragile, do not bend. So there's probably some comic books in here. So that's pretty cool too. And then there's another one right here. What does this one say? This one says, Danny Costa, Costa. Danny Costa, hooking it up, hooking the comic fam up. So what are we doing? What is Comic Karma? Well, this is episode two of Comic Karma. Let's, let's explain what Comic Karma is real quick. If you're new to the channel, if you don't know what that is, Karma. Karma is, you know, doing things for the sake of doing good things. Just doing it without an expectation of recognition, an expectation of, of someone seeing it done. Just you're doing it because you're just being nice. And what goes around comes around. And Comic Karma is a real thing. I don't even know if actual karma is a real thing. But what I can say is comic karma is indeed an actual event. I have experienced it multiple times. And I'm curious here in the chat, if you know what I'm talking about, let me know if you know what comic karma is. And if you are familiar with that, and if you've had any recently, because for me, it, it's definitely been something that it's like, it's there. You feel it. You feel it. And you know what? It's it's always a good thing, too, when you're able to spread comic karma. So what do we do? We have a P.O. Box. All right. The P.O. Box is my name. And it has it's a P.O. Box 574 Lake Stevens, Washington, 98258. And the links, the link, the address is in the description of every video we do because we get asked to send things, you know, like people want to send us stuff, not for us, though, for the community, we get a lot of stuff because we do giveaways every other video. We send out a lot of comic books and we also have our subscription service. And since we're already sending comic books out, we have this like, you know, we're already sending it out. So if someone wants to include some karma, we can do that. And we do. We send out a lot of orders throughout the month, but we take these comic book karma, and we throw them in and we send them out. So that's what these are. However, we would do these on the live show. OK, we would do this on the live show. And then all of a sudden, the live show turned into us opening packages the whole time. And we had this whole script that we got ready. We practiced the script. We have a little bit that we're going to do. And then the next thing you know, we get all of these packages. We just keep getting them. And then all of a sudden, the show is filled with Comic Karma. So we have started a new show. It's called Comic Karma. That's where we sit here. We actually go through all your Comic Karma. And um, I'm hoping to be able to do this by March. All right? Because we have we are officially in March. What, it's February 16th? What am I talking about? No, no, no. The 15th is the cutoff day for the February, for the box that we send out, for the subscription box. Every month, the 15th is the cutoff day. So the 16th, we are officially enrolling for the next month. We are reserving boxes for the next month, which means we are now in March. So 
if you are interested in getting a Hulk 181 from our mystery mail call, the subscription service, and you haven't signed up yet, guess what? You're not going to get one from us because it's not going out in March. It went out in February, and those boxes are already reserved. Those boxes are already claimed, and someone's going to be getting it. No one's claimed it yet. But what I can say is that we have an Iron Man 55 going out in March. Oh, yes, first Thanos. I said it. That's right. Um, I bought it from Torpedo Comics. Shout out Dal John Dalamayan for hooking up. I he, he hooked it up. I, I don't know what else to tell you guys. I got a screaming deal on an Iron Man 55. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to send it out next month. So link in the bio to sign up to reserve your March box. I am hoping that I have enough time between now and March to do something different with the mystery mail call, um, specifically with Comic Karma. We are going to make sure that Comic Karma gets put into something to signify that it is comic karma so you know what comic books are from me and what comic books are from the community because i don't want to get those types of things mixed up we always make sure that we have our books that go in there and then at the very very end we add the comic karma at the end but i want to immortalize them i just spilled my coffee oh just the straw just the straw i, I took the is a starbucks straw i put it in here i lifted it up I missed about three comics. Fortunately, they're all bagged and boarded. What did I miss? I missed the uh, Spider Geddon that's sitting right here. Um, I picked up a couple of these. This has the, uh, what's her name? The Venom's sister, Addie Brock. Anyways, there's a couple of those there. Anyways, we're, we're Comic Karma. We're going to be sending out Comic Karma throughout the mail call, and I want to signify it. So I'm not sure how we're going to do it yet. My thought is I want to get a stamp because we're going to be bagging and boarding everybody's Comic Karma. I hope anytime someone sends Comic Karma, it's nice when there's, they're already bagged and boarded, so we don't have to do it. But we will do it, and we are also going to separate them out somehow. So my thought is we're either going to do a stamp on the back of the board for each one. Ryan has already committed. He's like, I'll do it, man. I will make sure they're all bagged and boarded, and we'll put a stamp on the back of the board so that it says Comic Karma. And my thought was if there's a way that we can signify the date that way you can match it up to the videos that we open them up on. So now you actually have a way to find out if you got Comic Karma, the dates should match up with the live video that we do. And then you can see it because it's going to be immortalized here when we open it like I'm about to do right now. Oh, let's do it. Okay. So the first one, we got to do it with Johnny Future. Let's do it. Johnny Future's in the chat. He doesn't, he, he said too, he's like, oh, I'm glad I made the chat. Um, he typically misses it, but it's, it's cool. I've, I've met Johnny Future over at um, uh, Mill Geek, which is always really cool seeing people over at Mill Geek um, that, that watch the show. And Johnny Future has a killer collection. This guy actually collects some awesome gold. It's always fun talking to Golden Age collectors because um, they're serious. They know their stuff. All right. Oh, and Johnny, you did a great job packing this, man. This is great. How much was shipping on this bad boy? This is pretty good. 75? That's not bad. All right. Johnny Future, robots in disguise. All right, let's do this. What do we got? <laughs> Johnny, this is sick, dude. All right. I'm excited about this. Oh, dude. Heck yeah. And you put it on there. Please read letter in your video. Okay. All right. This is how, this is how you do Comic Karma right. He put it in a letter. All right. Let's see what we got here. Comic Karma. We got, oh, what are we doing? We got no lo-fi hip hop. Ah, we got to get lo-fi hip hop. I'm sorry, Johnny. We got to do this right. And Johnny's going to take the time. He's going to send, he's going to send comics that he purchased to here. So he's going to mail them here so they can be sent out to the community. He, he's at least got to get some lo-fi hip hop on, on the, on the lo-fi hip hop. Come on. Boom. Got to get that on the speaker. Let's do it. There we go. Are we in? How's that sound? All right. Let's see what we got here. Turn this up. Bear with me. Let me know how the sound. There it is. You hear that, Johnny? There it is. All right. All right. Come on. Let's do it. Yes. Oh, it's a good day. You guys feel that? It's good. All right. Johnny Future. Let's see what Johnny Future says. All right. 
Here's a little gift for you, the guys who made this. I'm scared, <laughs> right? Just start doing some type of, uh, all right, that's it. Here's a little gift for you guys who make this channel what it is. I appreciate all of you and the content that you bring on a daily basis. And with this, so much information that you give out, it's easy to make choices better when it comes to collecting of comic books. Yes, I said comic books, not coins. Enjoy these books. One of you, one is for you, Comic Tom. Oh, one's for me. One of these is for Ryan. And one, oh, the last one's for Russ. I felt bad that he got one for 20. So, Russ, here's a reader copy for you. Have a great day. See you in the videos. Signed by Johnny Future. Your collection. And then he here's a nice quote. I'm gonna show this on the screen here. This is good. Your collection is what you make of it. So make it a good one all of you. So that's that's not just a message to me, that's a message to everybody. So what do we got here? He said 20 bucks, so I know what he sent. <laughs> oh, we got Superman 7s, Walmart exclusives. Um, for real, um, Russ paid $20 um, after he saw the Walmart exclusive, this book, Make the Hot 10 List, he went online and purchased one for 20 bucks because he couldn't find one at Walmart because he knew that someone would like it and appreciate it who watches the show. So we actually gave one of these away this uh, yesterday. In Friday's video, we give one of these away. So if you haven't watched the top 10 video this week, you got to check it out because someone won this comic. But you know what, Johnny? I have to tell Russ not to feel bad for giving it away because he got another copy here. And you know what? Uh, you, you got me and Ryan a copy. Uh, you, you set it in there. So thank you so much. If The rule for Comic Karma, if, if, if it's specifically a gift, I make sure it's known because it says it in the letter. And if it's a gift, I don't do anything with it. This goes onto my, my, my wall that I'm making of all the stuff that members send me because the last thing I'm going to do is sell a gift or send off a gift that's been, that someone went and shopped for me for. So um, Johnny... Sincerely appreciate you. Thank you so much. I've actually been looking for a copy myself and we gave away the only copy we had. So, um, and Ryan too. Thanks for thinking of Ryan. I'll make sure that he gets one of these as well. And um, you're a very uh, cool person and I'll see you at Mill Geek. So thank you so much, my friend. And, and we do keep the letters too. So I encourage letters because I would like to build a wall. I don't know. Maybe we'll just get rid of this wall together and just start filling it up with, with karma, right? Anyways, let's keep it rolling. That was fun. Johnny Future coming in, starting it out with a bang, with a gift. Oh, wasn't expecting that. And I always like to remind everybody, we have a lot of comics. So please, karma over gifts. But Johnny Future, you just you just brought the house down with that. That was awesome, though. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, we got some members in the chat, too. I want to say hi as I'm opening this up blindly. Hopefully, I don't cut myself. We will see. All right. What up, says James Hardy. D's rooms in the house. Good to see you here. Um, Katie Kaboom. She says, hi, Tom. Hello. Good to see you. Um, I saw a friend from high school today. Um, I haven't seen him in a number of years. And he said, Tom, I saw you on Facebook. Uh, no, actually, that's not what he said. He said, Tommy, I saw you on Facebook. I saw that you go by Tom now. When did that change? I kind of laughed um, because people who know me from like before I went into adulthood, they all know me as Tommy. So that, that kind of like, that sets the, you know, all right, how do I know this person? You know, if they call me Tommy, I know him from when I was little. So uh, anyways, it's a little little tidbit of information here. We got AKA Mr. Bolo in the house. Mr. B on the lookout, you know, Martin 101. He says, I'm at my LCS. They're open till midnight watching Comic Tom 101. What? Oh, hello. Hey, if you're watching from your comic book shop, thank you for going to your LCS. You are why comic books are still around. Um, people actually supporting their comic dealers. It's very cool. Thank you so much for everyone watching. It's late. What are you guys doing? It's, it's 9.49. Oh, I want to let everybody know too that I'm going to be doing some more Comic Karma here. We got another couple packages. I got a loot crate I want to unbox. We're already 15 minutes in. We got 85 people in the chat. What? Guys, it's like 10 o'clock at night. All my East Coast peeps are sleeping. That's crazy. That's so cool. Thank you for joining me. Hit that thumbs up while you're at it. I mean, you're already here, so I do appreciate you doing that as well. And yeah, we're going to get this Comic Karma open. We're going to do a Loot Crate unboxing. And then before the end of the show, I'm going to have to remind you, but I'm going to do it right now. I'm actually going to go on Instagram live after this because we have a bonus raffle we need to do. What does that mean? Well, we have a, I have my subscription service and every month for those who post their their box that we send them on Instagram, 
Well, we do a bonus raffle, and that bonus raffle consists of extra comics, graded comics, and we do two of them now because the mystery mail call is growing so much. And yeah, I have to go through and do the hashtag search because that's how people know how to, you know, they post it with the hashtag. That's how I that's how I know to include them in the raffle. And I go one by one and we look at what people got and we talk about it. I have everybody live on the mic, full transparency. I do it every single month. And if there's you know, we want to we want to make sure that everybody gets counted for and everyone gets put into the raffle. And two, we want to make sure everybody's happy. Some people, you know, if, if they're not happy with the box, it's my opportunity to reach out, see if I can make it better, you know. So um, that's how we roll. I hope you join me over on Instagram at Comic Tom 101. Links are all in the bio. But we're not going to do that now because right now I have a box of a rather mysterious box. It says Tom Garcia, P.O. Box 574, Lake Stevens, Washington. And it's from, oh... Whoa, John Grundy. What? Okay, I know John. This is cool. Damn, that is freaking awesome. He's out of country. Yeah, the declaration. Where is he from? John Grundy. Oh, here it is. Declaration information. So I know John Grundy because John hit me up multiple times this past year going, Tom, I'm such a big fan. I'm a big, I'm a supporter of the show. I want the mail call. How do I get the mail call? I'll pay more to get the mail call. And I kept telling John, you got to give me time, man. I, I just can't do it. I can't do it. I don't have a way to send you your mail call. You live in England, man. I don't have a way to do it. And if I do it for one person, I got to do it for everyone. But you know what happened? We are now open enrollment for international. All my international peeps, we can serve you. John Grundy sent us comic karma from freaking England. What is happening from England? Come on. Oh my gosh. Uh, give some thumbs up for, for John Grundy, who paid the freaking ridiculous shipping rates to send. Let's see what he sent. Let's see what he sent. He sent a stack of books. That's so nice of you, man. You didn't have to do that, John. I know you live far. This couldn't have been cheap. All right. This says. <laughs> All right. So this is good. He says, hi, Tom, Ryan, and anyone else on this week's live Bags and Boards Comic Karma show. So he's saying hi to all. That's all of you. That's everybody here watching this right now. He says hi to you. John Grundy, your friend, your fellow IG comic family member, fellow YouTube fe comic family member, all the way in England. See, we've got friends all over the place. Please find and close some books I would like to donate to the comic book community from my own personal collection. Oh, this is exciting. I've not seen any on you videos, but okay, hold on. I'm, I've not seen any of you, but, me, but to me, I love the artwork. And Sorry, hold on one second. Uh, make sure I read this right. Okay, I've not seen any of your of these on your videos, but to me, I love the artwork and the story arc for this run is great. He, he explains some of these and he says, Ex Accelerators and Annie Bonnie are amazing and he hopes someone else will especially like them. Um, as all the profit from this book goes back to the real heroes of the first responder organizations as they wrote. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. It's a little broken up. I got to make sure that I, I read it all right here. Um, if you catch my drift here, um, let's see here. Excel oh, wow. Okay. So these are the books. Cool. 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 Okay. Let's take a look here. So we have unit five and accelerator. I've never heard of these, but it says here, um, unit five, the accelerators and Annie Bonnie. He hopes that someone else will especially like these. And he says that unit five is a non-for-profit book that goes back to real heroes of the first responder organizations and it's wrote by the great skip winter give him a shout out and a follow all right skip winter that is really cool so take a look at these these are um all things that johnny future says hey these are awesome and apparently the proceeds from this book all went to the first responders so re first responders so how cool is that i've never heard of of unit five but Anvil, Red Anvil Comics. That's interesting to me. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. And comics that go for a good cause. I'm loving that as well. He says, I'm loving all your videos. I'm a little behind, <laughs> um, but he's gonna catch up. Um, he says he's gonna be ordering his first mail call on his birthday, which he did. He did sign up. He is a member of the comic fam, uh, of the, he's already a member of the comic fam. He's a member of the mail call community. Um, he said he's going to sign up for his birthday. He has his fingers crossed that I'll get that Hulk 181. I'm crossing my fingers for you too, man. I'm crossing my fingers for everybody. But um, he says as he sold his six years ago when his wife found out that they were going to be parents and they needed the money for a bigger place and a baby's room. Keep up the great work. Gron John Grundy, Newcastle, 
upon time england oh very cool man all right what else we got we got this really cool creepy oh it's so creepy look at that daredevil this is cool man what is going on here amazing tales creepy number one that's daredevil what issue is this this is weird i've seen this issue before but it looks different maybe because it's foreign i'm not sure does anyone know in the chat let me know all right we got also infamous infamous iron man number one mosaic number one this is a good read i read the first trade of that we have some turtles which is oh right turtles yep turtles universe look at that 14. cable made me do it <laughs> that's awesome i haven't seen that before wow I'm, i've like these are all mostly new comics to me wolf country we got sideways that's kind of cool i'm digging that almost spider-man looking character right there but it's not as a dc comic oh wow hey captain america number one this is a cool little minor key all right we got star lord number one. Oh, what look at that what are you doing sending us sending this well, this isn't for us look at that first riri come on and it's yeah heck yeah that's so cool all right we got first riri right here venom number one and round it out with that fantastic four number five. Oh wow john grundy kudos thank you weird like for real really do appreciate that that is so kind of you um if you saw one of these books if you see one of these books in your mail call which they're going to be labeled differently i'm going to make sure that there's some way to signify it um these came all the way from england to washington state to the middle of just the country out here washington state and then back to you um so know how far they traveled to get to you very cool thank you john that was very nice Keep it going. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna take a break here. We're gonna do the loot crate real quick. Let's see. Oh, John's comics with kids. Good to see you on here, Mr. D. Oh, good to see you here too. I already said hi, Mr. D, but we gotta say hi again. We have uh, Shun's comics. It says so happy I didn't go to bed. I'm happy you didn't go to bed too, man. I'm happy you didn't go to bed. It's good that you're joining me here. Um, we also have Stonecutter Cam. I already said hi to you, but he says sounds good old '60s TV with surround sound. Oh yeah, I love it. Joker M21 says Russ should have bought it in the New York Warriors auction. He would have got it cheaper. I know, right? He should have. Um, I don't know what the New York Warriors are. Oh, New York Warriors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I am. Um, um, is that Comic Books NYC? I'm, I'm hoping that's the same auction you're talking about because I bought some comics from Comic Book NYC. I'm excited to get that book. I got a giant size Invaders coming in 8.5, and I'm going to crack that baby open and press it. I'm excited. All right. AKA Mr. Bolo, cut that and put it in your videos. Which one? Cut what? I missed it. I don't know what you said. Um, let's see here. Oh, Joshua Sanders. What's going on? Just stop it in and show some love, brother. Number, hey, $4 super chat. Thank you, my man. I have an email to respond to you with. Um, but thank you so much. Oh, and we got comic book MIC here in the chat too. Casey Snipes, good to hear from you. Good to see you here. Um, we have, oh, wow, so many people. It's awesome. Okay. Man, I'm digging this, these tunes. Good to see everybody on here. Okay, so this is what we got to do. Katie Kaboom says it's her birthday tomorrow, so we need to give a big old happy birthday to Katie Kaboom. Please say happy birthday to Katie Kaboom in the chat for us. Let's make sure everyone knows that we value that she was born, and we appreciate that. All right, we have... Um, let's see here. Oh, when when you were talking donations, a.k.a. Mr. Bolo. Oh, I just think I should clip that and put it in a video. <laughs> yeah, we should probably do that. All right, Johnny, Johnny Future. Well, we're, what we're going to be doing, actually, um, what I'm excited about. Oh, and King of Golden State says he's got the New York Warriors auctions tomorrow. Okay, so this is a different auction. Um, New York Warriors auction is tomorrow. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Someone tag me on Insta so I know what I'm looking for. Oh, that's a good one. Casey Snipes says 100 people, only 33 likes. What's going on? Come on. Let's get that up. All right, this is what we got to do now. We got to open some loot crate goodness. Drink some coffee. Oh, let's do it. Loot crate, the most disappointing subscription box in the world. Let's do it. <laughs> I've been getting loot crate for so long that I forget that I get it and then I get it and I go, oh, why haven't I canceled that? Whoops. It's okay though. All right, so this is what we got. We got loot crate. What do we got? What do we got? We got 
Oh, okay. So this is from Futurama. Yes, this is from Futurama, I think. And let's see here. Zoidberg? Is that him? I think that's Zoidberg, right? Am I even saying his name right? I can't remember. Let me know what I think. This is pretty bum. This is this is kind of cool though. I mean, I'm eh, why not? Okay. What do we got here? We got a shirt. What is it? What is that? I can't even tell what that is. What the heck? What am I looking at? Five years? Help me out. Oh, Black Mirror? Is that a Black Mirror? Oh, yeah. Hey, that's pretty cool. Black Mirror. All right, let's see here. Okay, we got Escape New York Eye Patch, John Carpenter's. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, yeah, anyone seen Umbrella Academy yet? The great um, Sagamon? Heck, yeah, I did. Holy crap. If you haven't seen Umbrella Academy, go stop what you're doing. Well, actually, after I do the show and watch that because it's amazing. Oh, it's so good. What is this? All right, so I got an eye patch from Loot Crate. So that's a bummer. <laughs> we got socks. What is this? We got crew socks from Friends, the TV show. And that's the uh, turkey because remember they did that in the show? Yeah. Okay. Then what do we what is this? We got SpongeBob, a 16 month calendar. Okay. I'll definitely be using this. Can do all of my notes, my show notes on here. Be like, Ryan, let's figure out what video we're doing today. I go to the little calendar. I'm like, okay. Right there. You can you read that? That's the video we're gonna do today. Okay. Boom. That's it. <laughs> I got some socks from friends. I got an eye patch from John Carpenter's Escape from New York. I got a SpongeBob calendar. I got a little little figure, which is like probably the coolest thing in here. Um, yeah, Zoidberg, pretty cool little figure. And then I got this Star Wars shirt. So, anyways, um, yeah, Home of the New York Warriors. He, they got an auction tomorrow, 9:30 p.m. Um, on the New York Warriors YouTube channel. Very, very cool. Hey, Devin Dottie's in the chat. Yo, yo, yo. It's so good to see you on here. Devin Dottie, he made our video when I went to uh, Cal Comic Con. It's the uh, third video of the vlog that I did while I was down in California. And yeah, he donated a Young Avengers number one. How cool is that? That's so dope. Oh, and something really cool. I found a Young Avengers uh, six, six, I think it's six or seven. The key that's going out in February. Like I got that. And I sent it out like it's it's already packaged up and it's either sent out in February. Someone got it or it's on its way out. Like, who knows? You know, it's all it's all random. But I definitely picked one of those out because Devin, he got he sent out a number one like he donated it in person. It was really cool. First time I ever had someone walk up Comic Carmen to me and say, hey, can you send this off to the comic fam? So um, I had to go and find that extra key and send that out, too. So someone got that look for it. Oh yeah, any show ideas? Joker one one seven zero, please. I'm always I'm always taking show ideas. We got a lot of people who want to do content as well, so I'm I'm down for anything. Luke Crate, this was a bummer. Get a better one. Let's do it. Let's do better next month. All right, what do we got here? Noah Zimke coming over from what? Hey, this is yeah, that's cool. All right, so we got Noah Zimke from from Washington. This is a uh, local. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see what, what Noah sent. Let's bust this open. All right. Comic Karma. Oh, I have so many boxes. Let's do it. All right, to who? To the comic fam. Okay, this is addressed to you, so let's see. This is what we got here. To the comic fam, thank you 
for the amazing videos and content that is enlightening and accurate. Oh, I appreciate that. I hope that some of these will make someone's day. Keep them for yourselves or give them away. I always trust you a geek responsibly. Your energy for comics has given me the drive to really find what it is about comics that I love. For me, it's the art. With that, I've been looking for sources or lists of connecting comic book covers. On that quest, I found the internet lacking. So when you see a problem, fix it. Coming soon, there will be a www.connectingcomics.com where you can find and search the comics that make modern day tapestries. No more endless searching for just the right image, but not knowing which covers they are. Or even worse, not knowing that the one that really would have been the perfect fit eluded you. Oh, I like that. Look at this. But enough of my shameless plug. Thank you, Tom, for always setting a good example and always doing things right. Looking forward to the next Mystery Mail Call Box 2. He loves it. Connecting comics. That is really cool. So, you know what? I just got to say, in this last two months, I have seen more innovation, more individuals entering the comic book community, looking to bring positivity, looking to do in like just unique stuff. And here's another example of it. This is someone just like the members at CBSI, just like AKA Mr. Bolo, just like every member of the crew here and like all the different members of the comic book community. Um, you know, heck, I was on the comic core last night and, you know, we had Captain Figures, um, we had the legend on, we had Bueller on. I mean, there were so many really cool people there. Um, I encourage you to check out that video. Um, I posted in the community page, a link to the comic core. Um, it's a really fun little podcast um, that I did yesterday night, but you have all these people who are just donating their time and writing co and creating content for the, this awesome community. And they're doing it for free. Like they're just doing it for fun. And this is someone here who said, you know what? I'm a fan of connecting comic book covers, which by the way, I'm a fan as well. I bought Walking Dead 115, all the covers. I bought Walking Dead 100, that freaking Negan bat that has the the um, Lucille, you know, and everything. And he's like this. And he's like, yeah, I just ruined everybody's day by killing Glenn. Like that whole connecting cover. I bought 15 copies of each of those. Like I went crazy. I love connecting covers. And he's right. It is a ruckus. Keeping track of comic book covers is a ruckus. Um, I know... Bueller can can vouch for me there because that guy's looking for a hundred plus comic covers to show in his videos every week when he informs you of what is coming out every week. And he tells me, oh, it's not an easy task having to go through and hunting all these covers down. So you know what? I'm excited. Connecting comics, www.connectingcomics.com. I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for your website. I hope that you 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 stick with it. I'm excited to see what kind of comic content you produce there. And I hope to see you maybe on YouTube. You know, you, if you're going to do go through all the website, doing all this content, organizing everything, you might as well make a video to go along with it. Just saying. All right. What did he send? Ooh, that's cool. All right. So we got a wizard number 20. And you know what? You know how that is. That's the max right there. And you know who did the max? You know, some Sam Keith. Goodness. This is cool. I love it. Wizards, we need the wizards. I'm still, we're still working on doing a wizard show. My wizard show ideas have gone all off the rails. Look at this, Hero Illustrated. This is a great, look at that. Oh, it's all flashy and it's moving on screen because it's a hologram. Oh, it's so cool. I like that. So these ones are going to be source material. We, whenever we get this kind of stuff, it's because the, the community knows that we're, we're using whatever we can for source material for our content. So that is clearly a... Uh, will be a gift one day once we're done using it. Uh, but what else do we got here? Oh, hell yeah. Dude. Heck yeah. Okay, so we got some good stuff here. We got Red Lantern, number 10. Look at that. New 52. We got Hawkman, number one. X-Men Prime. Oh, and then, last but not least, least we have... The McFarlane classic Batman cover. This right here. I mean, does it come on? Does it? It's it, we got Starlin, we got McFarlane, we got classic Batman. The cape is looking ridiculous. The blue is just amazing. And this book, I almost missed it. This is signed. So, like, good call on that right there. I just noticed the cert. And oh, look at this, Robert Roberto. We got people here. We got <laughs> everyone's like, hey, it's signed, it's signed, it's signed. Look at this. This is definitely signed. There's a ton of signatures on this. All right, what does it say here? There's a cert because it's uh, Dynamic Forces, X Men Prime. It is signed it's by uh, Scott Lobdell and Hector Colazzo. 
Boom and boom. So we got Sign Comic Karma going out. We got McFarlane Goodness. Look at that. Very cool. The last show I was at, um, at, at Yorba Linda, there was a, somebody behind, was looking for comics. He's like, I'm looking for that McFarlane Batman cover, that classic one. And it was really weird because I looked over at Jeff, the Golden Age Guru, it was his books. And he's, and because like my first, like the first thing I thought of, the very first thing I thought of when this cus when this person said, I'm looking for Batman, that that classic Batman McFarlane cover, I thought of the uh, Mc the Batman with that hook. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I think it's like Batman Year Two or something. And he's got like that. Uh, what do you even call that? It's like this grapple or something. It's got this hook. And I described that to the person. He goes, Oh no 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 no, that's not it. It's it's the other one with the cape. And I'm like, oh, I can't even like, why can't I think about that? I, and then I'm like, oh yeah, the freaking cape. Of course, of course, this book. So I look over at Jeff and I'm like, Jeff, yo, I can't remember the number, but do you have that McFarlane Batman? It's that classic Batman. And he goes, oh, the one with that, that grapple, that hook. He does the same thing I did for whatever reason. It was the first one that came to mind. I don't know. I don't know why, but this is what it is. All right. Very cool. Very nice of you. Um, so we're going to have to Definitely put that in the stack for Kona in March. Very cool. Comic Karma. All right. Oh my goodness. We got a big old box. We got a big old box. All right. So we're going to wrap this up here. It's 36 minutes in. We got one more box of Comic Karma. And if you didn't see your Comic Karma get opened yet, I do have some more boxes over there. Um, I'm going to wait till maybe a member of the team can join me. And we're going to keep it going. I know the post office has like four or five more boxes. You guys are crazy. I love it. I love it. This is awesome. You guys are so cool. Like it's it's such a humbling experience to be the person. Look at this. The person that opens the karma to send it out. This is crazy. Jennifer Courtney. Jennifer Courtney. You're an amazing person, Jennifer. All right, let's see here. What? What? Oh, okay. First off, look at how classy. I'm going to cover Jennifer's information here. But look at how classy these stamps are. Jennifer, that was a nice touch. I'm just letting you know. That was a nice touch. Okay. All right. We're doing this Comic Karma right. Let's get this open. Oh, we're going to get this open. And then we're going to call it a night on YouTubes, on the tubes. Because we got to go on Instagram at Comic Tom 101. And I need to go through all of the mystery mail call January hashtags and do the bonus raffle. So, holy smokes. Okay, what do we got in here? <laughs> I like the I like the back and board. This is it's always a nice touch. All right. Hi. I truly do appreciate you guys and gal. I, th I truly appreciate everything you guys and gal do. So Aaron's included in here. Here's three things for the community and for you and your crew. <laughs> A bottle of vodka for my favorite local dist distillery skeptic. Enjoy. At No Limits 83. And then there's a uh, YouTube link. And then it says at skip Skeptic dist Distillery. So there we go. I'm going to have to put both of those tags in the description here. Thank you so much. Um, I love it. That's so funny. There's vodka in here. <laughs> That's awesome. D's room. D. D's room coming in with a super chat. Get a gift for the male people to show our love. Pizza or flowers. Oh, that's so nice of you. D's room. Thank you, my man. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got here. The bags and boards crew slash comic Tom team. So this must be the vodka. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then we got this. All right. I want to open the vodka first. <laughs> shall we do a shall we do a toast tonight? Comic fam, shall we do a toast? I think we should. Oh my gosh. And Car uh, Carolina Chris 26 says, hit that like, hit that subscribe, share a comment. Oh, that's so, thank you for reminding everybody. Sometimes I get, I get crap from the community for, for asking too many times to subscribe and like, I know I do it in the video and I apologize, but like, if I don't say it, it just doesn't happen. So thanks for doing it for me. I appreciate it. But you know what? Saki. <laughs> All right, let's take a look here.
Oh my goodness. Look at this. What a gift. Oh, wow. Serious. <laughs> All right. So do we, do, is this still considered comic karma at this point? What kind of karma is this? I don't know, but uh, I say we try this. What, what do you say? Chug, chug, shots, JLS comics. All right. <laughs> I can't drink it all, though. Uh, not that I physically could, but um, <laughs> um, I got to share this with the rest of the team. I promise I will. Oh, I'm determined here. Is this is this good content? Oh wow, 114 people, 117 people joining us. What what are we doing? We're we're testing out some vodka, comic karma, bottoms up. Geek responsibly and drink responsibly, people. I remember when I was little, my dad did this really cool thing, and it basically turned me off to drinking my whole life. I don't know, not turned me off, but like I never had. And it never had an urge to like go out with friends or sneak out or stuff when I was little. Cause my dad told me, he's like, Tom, I don't care if you ever drink, just don't drive. And he told me like when I was little, like 13, he's like, Tom, if you're, I don't, I know you don't drink. I know you do anything wrong, but if you ever do, you're driving and you, and you, or no, rather, if you ever do and you need to, and you need to drive, you need to get somewhere. Don't, I will call me. You won't get in trouble. No matter what, call me and I'll pick you up. You won't get in trouble never drink and drive. He told me that since I was like 13. And yeah, I'm not. And you know what? I'm like, not even really a drinker, but I'm going to definitely try this. Let's see how this goes. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Skeptic. This is bottle number 37 of 600. They numbered their bottles. And um, this is bottle number four. Oh, batch number four, bottle 37. So, all right, we're going to do this. Let's see here. Oh, it's a nice bottle. I'm digging this. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is to the comic fam. Appreciate you. Oh, Woo. oh, it's delicious. Oh, it's really good. Oh, I've got like chills all over my body now. I know no backwash, right? Can't do that. It's straight down. Curious spirits. I'm curious what you guys did to this because it's delicious. Oh my gosh. I just definitely went up like 10 degrees. My I'm I'm like sweating now. First time I ever drank alcohol on the on my live stream, though, by the way. So thank you so much, Jennifer Courtney. This is a very kind gift. I will be sharing this in celebration with the rest of the comic fam and big will. Thank you so much for the super chat. A package will arrive by months and Tom. I have returned. Oh, Oh my God, comic fam, that's a warning right there from Big Will because that guy don't mess around. We're still giving his giveaways away. I can't even keep up with how many giveaways he sent out. His comic karma is like, it literally comes in, it comes in on fire. USPS is freaking out about it. They're like, you need to get this crap out of here. All right. Thank you. Oh, wow. What a cool thing. Okay, we got comics still. I'm already getting caught up here. Getting totally, getting totally wasted on the mic. Okay, let's do this. We got comic books. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, my God, it's hot. So I got to do it. It's too hot. Like the hair? It's good stuff. This is what it's like. Oh my gosh. Woo. Comic karma isn't easy. It's not easy doing comic karma. Sometimes you just got to take a couple shots for the team. But you know what? We're going to we're going to proceed. We're going to pursue. We're going to continue and we're going to open up some comic book karma. It says here, look at this. It says mystery mail caller giveaway. You pick. This is like a choose your own adventure happening right here. I don't know what I'm going to do. You guys ever read those choose your own adventures? I, I like the, the goosebumps ones. Those are my favorite. Goosebumps. Remember those? Those are great. So are the Animorphs. Whatever happened to the Animorphs? Remember Tobias turned into a hawk? I always thought that was pretty cool. All right. It's like a video game in here. Look at this. There's little, it's like little tabs. She, she took the time to write little arrows. So it's like, all right, this one here, is this going to do it? You open it up. All right, that's not the one. You do this one now. And it's like a game. 
and you do the wrong one, the thing explodes. D's room says, wow, a strip show now. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Um, that's right, man. Nothing but the best content happening here. If we don't screw around. What do we got? What do we got? Oh my goodness. Jennifer Courtney. Your, your, your packaging is so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, we got we got some cool stuff here. All right, so we got what do we got here? Infinite Crisis number five. Oh, is that the Jaime Reyes? Look at this, Infinite Crisis number five. But this isn't the this isn't the one I know. Interesting. Okay, first oh, right right here. Okay, first. Crisis number five, Infinite Crisis number five variant cover by George Perez. Heck yeah. First full appearance of the third Blue Beetle in costume, Jaime Reyes. So I was kind of right. That is a really cool gift. Take a look at that. Hi, yo, mail call. That is really cool. And I'm going to keep this on there. That is so dope. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. This is how you know the comic karma is legit. She took the time to write the grade like for this is a giveaway. Like she's giving this to somebody who's going to get this in the mail call. And she took the time to write this little sticky note that says, not sure of the grade. There's a slight damage here. One inch up here to the left and one inch down here to the right. And she points. <laughs> it's a giveaway. I don't think anyone's going to care. But you know what? I'm going to keep that on here because I think that's freaking awesome that you took the time to write all this. This is Comic Karma right here. You guys see all this? This is awesome. This is someone really going out of their way to spread the love. Oh, heck yeah. We have Omnipress number 44 of Rick and Morty, the variant. That's pretty cool. I'm a huge fan of Rick and Morty. And Rick and Morty number 41, this is the Supercon exclusive crisis variant. It's limited to 1,000. The cover art's by Greg Kapatrick. Very, very nice. Okay, very cool. And then we've already talked about this book today. But she sent a she sent a Superman number seven. So we're gonna be sending more of these out. Look out for all of these going into the mail call. Um, again, we are going to do our best that um, to separate out the karma so that it's all significant, um, so that it's all like very um, apparent what has been sent in from the comic book community, so we can separate it. And then ideally, we will have some type of date on these so that you'll be able to match them up by the live show to know who sent them. So Jennifer Courtney, if you get one of these, it's from Jennifer Courtney and um, that is extremely kind. And let me check real quick where Jennifer Courtney was. Jennifer Courtney, Chicago, Illinois. All right. So if you get one of these, they flew from Chicago to Washington state to wherever you live. Wow. Holy smokes. Is that it? I think that's it. Not it. We got another one. <laughs> it just doesn't. Oh my gosh, we got more than another. We got two more. Do we do both? I think we should. All right, we're gonna do both. It's oh my god, it's 48 minutes in, guys. We're 48 minutes in. All right. I think we're just gonna keep it going. Shall we keep it going? I'm gonna keep it going. All right. Should we save them? Let me see. What do we got? No, we're gonna open them. Script. Let's just do it. We're gonna open them. We got hundred. We got hundred and eleven people here. What is going on? I was not expecting to have, um, you know, <laughs> AK Mr. Bull. I'm gonna keep that in there, man. You can swear on this in chat. He says, "F it, keep it going." Um, so a little thing here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be swearing on the show anymore. It's a little little information there for the comic fam. I don't mind if people swear in the chat. I'm not going to ever block people's what people say, as long as it's not like hurtful. But um, I went to Cal Comic Con and I straight up met more than one kid. Like, and I, when I say kid, I don't mean like 16, 17 year old. I mean like kids, like with their dads who watch our show. Like more than four, like six or seven kids. And then I woke up yesterday to Russ sending me a text and um, one of our fans got a Comic Tom haircut. Like He told his mom, I, I, wanna, I want the Comic Tom swoop. And he, he took a picture. So shout out, you know who you are, my homie. And um, I'm just like, you know what? Ah, I just doesn't feel right. <laughs> Dropping F5, it just doesn't feel right. So um, anyways, um, but I, I don't mind anyone who does it in the chat or if you're on the crew. It's just, just what, what's, what, what's going on. Little, little, <laughs> what are you doing sending me this? What is going on? Okay, <laughs> this is pretty good. 
All right. Um, we got Stonecutter doing a five dollar, uh, a five dollar super chat. Thank you so much, my man. He's been a Stonecutter. You've been a homie for a long time. It's Saturday. This vodka pull me, pull is on me. <laughs> Drinking my V Day bourbon with you. Cheers. Oh, cheers, my brother. It's happy birthday. Okay. Hi guys. Love the show. Has got me into hunting more and now than ever before. It would have been great. If you could all sign this Turok, though, and send it back. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He just sent Danny Costa. Oh, that's a, that's a sly move. That's a sly move, my man. All right. He said, just send it back. That is what the money is for. There's money in here? He did not send money. I would have sent it back to you. There's no money in here. I was like, there's no money, right? All right. He says, and send it back. This is what the money is for. Just signed up for the mystery mail call. Looking forward to the first one. I started looking for Matt Baker stuff. Oh, you hear that, Guru? Getting, I love that the Guru is getting people into gold. That is very cool. So to sign a Turok. It's the only comic book I think I'll ever sign. Probably a Turok. Hey, I saw that Biggie Shack. I thought it was funny. It's okay. He said, that's what the money's for. What money? I don't see any money here, my man. It's okay. I'll send you. Oh my gosh, he sent money. Dude. <laughs> what, are you, what are you guys doing? <laughs> he sent 10 bucks. Guys, okay, for real. If you really want a Turok number one, just let me know. It costs like three bucks. I'll, I would have covered it for you, man. Um, and I would have given you one of my... 150 copies I have just lying around the house now. <laughs> okay, man, I'm going to do it. All right, I'm going to put the $10 in here. I'm going to put this aside. I'll make sure the whole team sends it. And I just opened this on camera. And I'm really hoping we don't get a wave of Turoks coming in. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You should start throwing signed Turoks in the MMC for now on. Antonio Santiago says. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is not comic karma. You just gave me a job there, my brother. And you know what? I'm loving that. That just made uh that just made my, my night there. Oh, that's hilarious. I can't believe he's, he paid for that Turok. He paid for that Turok to get sent to me. And then he paid for the Turok to get signed. And he paid the shipping back. Holy smokes. That's dedication. And I am humbled because there is no reality where that book would have ever been asked to be signed prior to me doing videos about Tarak and joking about it. So, um, wow. Okay. I'm stunned. Life is a crazy thing. But you know what? It's a beautiful thing. Somewhere on Spaceship Earth, we are here communicating through, through wires and, and, and computers and signals and Wi-Fi and J Dog, we're opening your, your mail call right now. You're uh, here. I don't even want to call. See, it's like this comic karma, but I'm getting orders that I gotta like, I gotta sign and send out. I got comic books I gotta give to the to the members of the community, or rather of to the to the show, not even to the community. They're like specifically gifts. But you know what? We got a freaking fat stack of books for the community. I'm super excited to send out as well. So let's see what we got here. It's like I call it comic karma. It's like all these other things happening. Technically, it's all karma. But you know what? If there's a Turok in here. Oh! Okay. This isn't Comic Karma. This is a comic book I ordered. <laughs> well, that's cool, though. Because I've been waiting for this book to come in. All right. Um, maybe we can do it this way. So I got a comic book. But it ain't from me. I got a comic book request from a friend of mine. And I'm assuming he wouldn't mind it if I mentioned that I got him a book. So, let's see what I got him. Can I say who it's from? I don't want to say who it's from yet. Who it's for? Who it's for? So, um, first off, this is a member of the IG comic community. Um, he had, he sold me a comic book for a really good deal. I'm stoked about it. And I got this because we have somebody who I'm hoping is going to be help, going to be doing some stuff with the show soon. Um, so I'm not going to say who I got this for, but okay. Where are the ads? Let me see. I'll make sure no one's in here. Let me see who's on the, in this chat. We put out a lot of videos, so I don't feel bad. So, uh, make sure it's not in here. It's live, but you know what? It's the comic fam. It's okay. Gotta be, gotta be careful what I say. Let's see here. Nope, we're good. Okay. What I'm going to say is um, some crazy stuff happened over this last few months. One of, my, um, one of my favorite YouTubers 
in the game, hit me up. Like legit hit me up. I'm not going to say who it is because I'm still working on like having them on the show and doing stuff. But there is a member of the comic book community who has a very, very large channel. We're talking like million plus club who's a fan of the show. And he wanted to talk about doing content together. And I would told him, heck yeah, heck yeah, I want to do content together. Um, and then, you know, we chatted and we are, we are, is a, he's a big YouTuber. So it's one of those things where it's like, long long term you know i hope that it happens but he did say that he was looking for a comic book he said he was looking for a comic book and he's like you know what if you find one let me know because i really want it now technically i want to send this to him i don't want to say who it is but i got him this and if he sees this video you know it's going to you man i, I want to pick this up for you uh, because if someone if one of my like favorite YouTubers says, Hey, can you get me a book? I got, I got to get the book, you know, I got to do it. It's my job. So, um, this one's for me, but it's not for me. It's for someone else. And I hope I can tell you who it's for very soon. Oh, what a weird way to end the show. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. And I also don't want to put anyone on the spot. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, Batman adventures 12, um, got a really good deal on it. And I'm actually going to take a look at this bad boy. Let's take a look. So this is comic karma. And it's been a good show. I'm excited. I I feel wow, this is cool. What a great looking book. A lot better than I thought it would be. Heck yeah. Oh, don't you love it when comic books end up looking way better than you thought they would? Oh, it's so good. It's a good day. Oh, yes. Feels good. Okay. That's Comic Karma. We are 56 minutes in. We had like over 100 people today. This is crazy. It's last minute. I have all these boxes sitting around. I have a video I was waiting to produce. But you know what? I'm going to put that out tomorrow. I want to be here. Be with the comic fam. AKA Mr. Bullet says we need to collab. Heck yeah, we do. Bueller is already collabing with me on Tuesdays. I'm excited for that. Mr. Bolo, we got to get you on the mic. Please get a mic. <laughs> and we'll get you on the mic. Um, and heck yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do. So, Pure Gasu says, I wonder if Nicolas Cage is still collecting. He absolutely is. I've seen him at conventions with my eyeballs. All right. Comic fam. That's comic karma. These comic books that are karma is for you. That's going out in the mystery mail call or it's going to be going on giveaways. I don't know. But look out in the mystery mail call. We're going to be signifying what is karma in the boxes so you know. And I'm hoping to be able to put the dates on there so that you can match it up to these videos going forward so you know because they're going to be immortalized on the internet. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for joining me today. This random video, but it's not so random because it's karma. Karma is not random. Karma is intentional. Karma is something you do out of goodness of your heart. And everybody did. Um, holy smokes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all the members of the community who send us stuff. You don't have to do that, but you do. And we appreciate it. It's such a humbling thing. It's the nicest thing. It's crazy. Ryan was here the other was here yesterday and he's like, Dude, are all those boxes people things that's like they've sent those? And I'm like, yeah, man, they sent them. It's crazy. And he said, yeah, it is, man. Can you imagine a year ago you telling me that? I would have never believed it. Could you imagine a year ago? No, I couldn't. That's the answer. And you know what? You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Cheers to the comic fam. Cheers to Stone Cutters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give me the best job in the world. And read your comics, geek responsibly, and I will see you so soon. Oh, we're seeing so soon. We're seeing also soon. I'm going to.